Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I have another story that's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass, Florida, okay? So Florida's on the road this week, okay? So now what's going down is that basically we have all these teenagers, they're in a courtroom, and they are wilding out, being disrespectful, talking back, throwing up gang signs, just acting crazy as hell. You know, just makes no sense. The reason why these kids are in court is they took police on a wild car chase through Broward County, and so basically once they were caught, their siblings and their friends decide to go down to the courtroom and be on some, you know, free my nigga, da 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 You know how people do that, free my little nigga. So they decide to go down there and be on that ignorant, ratchet ass shit. And so the people in the courtroom were telling them to be quiet, you know, to calm down. And these kids got even more wild, even more crazy. You know, one of the parents stepped in to try and control the kids and they started going off on the mama. I mean, the whole situation is just really damn ridiculous. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hearing chaos as some teens show up in support of three teens and instead interrupt the hearing with several leading, leaving that area in handcuffs. The three are part of a force that left police on a wild chase through parts of Broward County. NBC6 reporter Ari Yasser is live from Fort Lauderdale with more on what happened in the courtroom, and this even surprised you, Ari. Well, Juwan, let me tell you, I've never seen anything like this in a courtroom. This was supposed to be a routine first appearance hearing for three juveniles who were allegedly involved in yesterday's car chase through Broward County. Instead, it devolved quickly into a stunning display of disrespect. A group of teenagers ignored polite requests, several of them from the bailiffs, to calm down, settle down, and that led to the spectacle you're going to see here. Free time and freedom! That's how it started. The disorder in the court was not going to be tolerated by the judge or even, apparently, the mother. Armed deputies subdued the group of uncooperative teenagers and brought them up to the judge, who ended up sentencing two of them to five days in the juvenile detention center for contempt of court. The teens were there to support three 15-year-olds who were allegedly involved in yesterday's car chase. Police say they stole a car and led them through Broward County before they bailed out and tried to run for it in Lauder Hill. Three of the four kids involved in the incident were caught and turned up in court today for their first appearances. We are not showing their faces or identifying them because, as I said, they're only 15 years old. One suspect's brother spoke to us last night. I walked out the door and I saw these helicopters, man, my heart dropped because my little brother hurt right now. I don't know nothing about no car jack, I don't know nothing about no car stolen, I don't know none of that. My little brother is good, man. My little brother been out for like two years strong. My little brother been doing good lately. That same young man was among those involved in the court disturbance today. We're not sure which two of the 16s was charged with contempt. Like I said, in the hundreds of court proceedings I've covered, I've never seen a spectacle quite like that. Now, as for the boys who were allegedly involved in the carjacking, car chase situation, all three of them are in juvenile detention. One of them is going to be allowed to go home on house arrest. The other two will be held in pretrial detention. More charges are expected against them, and police say they're looking for at least one more teenager who was probably involved in that whole incident yesterday. We're live at the court. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. I think the part that bothered me even more than the kids acting up was the older brother on the news. He was so extra ratchet. I don't know nothing about no car jackets. I don't know nothing about no car stereos. All I know is that my little brother a good nigga. He been out two years now. You know what I mean? He been doing good. He a good nigga. And I'm like, who the hell gets on the news and talks like that? And not even that your brother is 15 years old. Like, what do you mean he's been out for two years? So he's been locked up since he was 13? Where are the parents? Both him and his brother look young as hell. Why is a little boy running around his city in Florida just jacking cars in and out of jail and everything else? This whole situation just makes no sense. I agree with the judge, and I'm glad that the judge got all them fools arrested and thrown in jail for the next 21 days. You know, why would you go to a courtroom and disrespect the courtroom, disrespect the judge and everything else? If, if your little homie really cared about you and your family, then maybe he wouldn't be committing crimes to the point where y'all got to go down to the courtroom and start screaming, free my nigga. Your whole situation is just really damn ridiculous. And this is why, unfortunately, a lot of black teenagers get stereotyped so much because of stories like this. You know, you have these young boys out here carjacking people, stealing cars. Then they leave one car and go steal another car, take the police on a wild, you know, chase. Then the brothers on the news shirtless, acting super ratchet, super ghetto. And then these kids go to the courtroom and they perpetuate these stereotypes even more. And then the brothers in the courtroom with no respect, throwing up gang signs. I mean, the whole situation is just pretty damn ridiculous. I, 
I've never seen such disrespect in a courtroom before, you know, with multiple kids. And the crazy part is these kids came in free and they ended up getting thrown in jail because they wanted to be ignorant and super ratchet. And then even when the mama got involved and told them to be quiet, they were disrespecting the mother. You know, the whole situation is crazy, but again, this did not happen overnight. These kids did not just start stealing cars and being disrespectful overnight. This has been going on, and these parents obviously dropped the ball because these kids have no respect for themselves, they have no respect for their parents, and they have no respect for authorities. If this little boy at 15 years old don't slow down, he will be finding himself locked up in a Florida prison for the next 10 to 20 years because they're not playing no more with these kids, especially young black males. They are giving y'all extended time. They're trying to give y'all as much time as possible to feed that prison industrial complex so y'all keep on playing with the law system y'all keep on playing with the police y'all keep on doing the wrong things and you guys will definitely find y'all asses in jail in prison and then you'll find out who really cares about you then you'll find out them same people in the courtroom screaming because they think it's cute to act out from the cameras then you'll see if they'll really be there putting money on your books and coming to visit you every weekend so anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. That damn video pissed me off, little badass baby kids. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation that's once again coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. I don't know what I'm going to do with Florida, y'all. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.